Showtime, folks. Guess who's back? Bradley with another one of his paintings from 2011. Yes, the title of this piece is called A Quiet Place. Yes, A Quiet Place. And it came out 2011, like I said. Probably started working on this probably about 2010. Between 2010, halfway through to 2011. And then about two years later, decided to stop painting. I don't know why. I tried to explain that before. I must have been insane or something. But basically, like I said, it's called A Quiet Place. It's a standard 16 by 24 canvas. You know, this is actually my, my 25th take on this particular video. I keep making all these blunders, verbal blunders, and it's really pissing me off. Because I'm not used to speaking in front of a camera, in front of a crowd and stuff like that. So basically, except when I do, well, I kind of do penny and all that kind of stuff, my rowing videos. But, you know, I wanted to kind of explain how this painting was done. Now, if you look at something, I'm going to show you something right here. I'm going to use this pen as, uh, so I don't have to point so much. Now, if you look at right here, that's the sky way in the background. If you look really closely, there's stars. So the sky is actually not overcast right here, but it starts to get overcast as you go that way. Clouds are kind of moving in that direction, so to speak. And basically, if you look at this really carefully, I shouldn't be doing this, there's another lake way back here. If you look real carefully, here's another far distance of pine trees and stuff, a land, land mass, whatever it might be. And then there's a lake right there, and of course you got all these pine trees coming up and everything. You can see them right there. By the way, I, I ordered a pointer from eBay, so I don't have to use a stupid pen to kind of show you the distance and the depth of some of my paintings. And uh, I like the way these uh, the cloud covers kind of work. The, I, I like the way they're kind of hazy and kind of gloomy and kind of drifting in that direction over there. I thought it was a good idea to kind of make it, I don't know, it could be, like I said, it could be anywhere in the world. I'm just trying to basically come up, you know, I come up with these ideas. You, you know, you really, like I said, I don't have any set ideas. I just kind of like get the canvas ready and then I just kind of think about it for a while, you know, maybe half a day or a few hours or whatever it might be and decide, well, let's do this. Like you said, you always start with the sky first. Always start with the sky first because you're going to work downward, 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 downward. And basically what we have in the middle here is just a frozen over lake, stream, or something like that. It doesn't really make any difference. It, of course, it looks different from the snow, the snow caps and everything, and here the banks and everything. But basically, <clears throat> excuse me, of course I get all these big old gnarly pine trees. It's kind of like late afternoon, early evening, this, you know, the moon is coming through. It's still reflecting on the, the landscape below. So basically you can still see everything pretty much uh, the way it looks on the canvas. I actually got this canvas looking pretty much close, pretty close to the way it actually looks. Uh, my, my webcam actually is picking this one up pretty good. This is actually the way it really looks on my canvas. Uh, the bluish lake and of course all the gloomy uh, clouds and you know the pine trees and all these bushes coming up here. You know, then my signature way down here. And then you got all these snow caps down here, right? They're all going in that direction. I kind of like slanted it down like that. Because I wanted to kind of go in, I'll show, let me get my fingers right, kind of go in this direction but downward, like it's slanting slightly. You know, it, it could go for hundreds of miles in this direction over here, you know. So basically, you know, there's, if you look at the lake really closely, the middle section, you got all kinds of white caps on the lake. You know, the lake is pretty much all frozen over, right? It really is all pretty much frozen over. And you got little globs of snow on top of the ice and stuff like that. And you got the dark spots in the lakes, like right over here, stuff like that. And you got twigs coming up and stuff like that. I like the way the sky actually turned out. But I really like, you know, to be honest with you, I kind of, let me get my pen right. Be honest with you, I kind of like the way I did this lake way back here, right there. That is actually, like you said, that actually is a lake. So I decided to create like a, a double whammy here. Here's the front part of it and here's the beginning of it way back here with all the pine trees going up and all the foliage way way back there. If you look really carefully you can see all that foliage and pine trees way back here and the big gob of land right here too. It's kind of cool to create this kind of stuff man. You know you just kind of this let me get a drink of water first. Ah, yes I need some water. Yep, I'm right here. Anyway, this is my third attempt at trying to explain one of my paintings. I'm still having little problems with my voice a little bit, so just, if I fumble some words, just ignore it. 
But if you have any questions about this painting, well, I'll try to tell you exactly how he did it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's basic standard artist oils. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of paints gray, ultramarine, ultramarine blue, you know, blacks and whites and the whole mixture of colors. I mean, you don't have to worry about yellows and oranges and stuff like this because that's not what you're trying to represent here. You're trying to represent more of a, a gloomy Canadian uh, landscape uh, type of a scene, if you want to call it that. It doesn't really make any difference. Like I said before, it could be anywhere. And we're up to five and a half minutes. You know, I'm not really doing too bad here. Uh, I got my little trust. Like I said, I ordered a pointer so I don't have to use a stupid pen to kind of uh, explain things. I kind of, it works pretty good. Of course, you see my hands. I, I noticed on my last videos, my heart, my, my hands were all orange because I was wearing an orange t-shirt and they were more yellowish looking. This, I got a blue, whoa, careful. I got a blue t-shirt on instead. Let me set my easel back right. There we go. That's what we got. Kind of bumped it a little bit there. Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty much where we had it. So basically, I got a blue t-shirt in. You can probably see it. I don't know if that makes a big difference. But anyway, I, I had a pretty good response on my last two uh, paintings I showed off in the last four or five days on my YouTube channel. Not a few comments, but nothing great, you know. I'm hoping this one might uh, spur a few more comments, you know, and you know, they, oh, Bradley, that's not too bad, man. But the thing is, I'm getting better at showing these paintings in front of my webcam. I'm trying to get the lighting set perfect, stuff like that, and this one actually turned out pretty good. I got it pretty much centered. It could go in this direction a little bit more, but you know, that's not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. I got this little nagging cough from that uh, sinus infection I had, so it's really annoying because, you know, every 15 minutes I got a cough or something, and it just really pisses me off, man. I'm going to be doing a rowing video tonight, too, so that's going to come right before this painting. So I'm going to post two videos tonight. The rowing video first, and of course, this right, uh, this will be the follow-up video. But anyway, if you look really closely down here, you can see all these bushes right down here. I like to bring the landscape right to the edge of the canvas right there. You know, with little weeds popping up and bushes and, you know, twigs and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun to do this. The painting actually looks pretty good, man. I like the way this is photographing in front of the webcam. Like I said, it kind of looks exactly like the actual canvas that's you're viewing right here. Uh, basically, the webcam is picking up a lot of the blues and the, the dark colors and everything like that. So it's basically kind of turned out the way I kind of wanted it to turn out. I'm going to get better and better at uh, presenting these, uh, these uh, landscape paintings and my uh, other type of paintings too. So basically, we're just going to keep getting better and better. If you notice, I got the music in the background a couple notches uh, lower. I felt like the last video was a little overpowering. So I knocked it down about two notches or so. So you, know, you can still hear the thumping in the background, right? But it's not overwhelming and you, you can hear me talk a little bit better. And you can still hear the ambient sound in the background, which I think is perfect for these type of presentations. So I don't know, it's, it's, if you have any questions about this painting, I mean, like I said, I ordered about 50 brushes from eBay today because I went to the hardware store and got some paint thinner to clean my brushes. So I'm all ready to go, man. I got my canvases ready. I got stuff all set. I got, I got, I actually came up with a great idea today. I was on YouTube, where I'm always on YouTube, and I saw this beautiful live uh, video or upload of a, a stream swirling by with a bunch of trees in the background, a white, sort of like a white bank, sloping white bank. And I'm just going to use that. That's really, I, I figured that would be a great next bit, uh, a painting for me to do. I just, it kind of inspired me. I, I still, I can still see it on my God, in my brain, man. And I'm going to try to emulate that or try to duplicate that on canvas. I hope to start painting probably in about maybe sometime next week or the week after when I decide to actually devote some time on one of my free days off from that damn job. So basically, I seem to have a lot of time now, which is actually really nice. So, but anyway, if you guys, if you want to comment on this painting, feel free to comment. Remember, always subscribe, you know, comment, hit the view. I like views and thumbs up on some of my paintings. I really do appreciate it. 
you know, if you if you comment, I will respond to your comment, you know. Uh, hopefully they'll be positive. I haven't had no negative comments yet, you know, about my paintings. A couple of nice ones, actually one person in general only, about the only person that actually commented on my paintings. He commented, com commented on two of my first paintings on YouTube, which is really nice. Uh, so basically, hopefully he'll say something nice about this one too. So we're up to about 10 and a half minutes. But anyway, if you look at some of this stuff over here, you see all these white caps over here? They're basically, you know, like stuff coming off the shoreline and stuff like that, little weeds and stuff like that. I move my big fat hand out of your way. So I kind of like really adding a lot of detail, a lot of detail here, man. I'm really big on detail. The one thing I always thought was nice, you know, you can do a painting. If you're satisfied, satisfied with it, that's fine. But I, if I'm one of those people that keep going, I just keep going at it. I just can't keep adding little bits of detail and, you know, a little stuff like that that you normally wouldn't see. You probably can't see a lot of this detail, but it's actually here. If you look at the painting in person, you can see more of the uh, detail than what's uh, represented here on the YouTube video. But, you know, basically, yeah, a lot of this stuff right there is just... I just, I love detail, man. Detail is really big in my mind. I love adding detail because a lot of people just kind of give up after a certain walk time. You know, they're, oh, I've, you know, I've done enough. That's fine. You know, if you're satisfied with your painting, that's, that's beautiful. But I kind of like to keep going, keep going, you know, until I'm really satisfied with it. When people take a look at my paintings, they go, what, how did you get all this detail in there? You know, it's, it's you just got to keep working at it. It's really just that simple. Uh, like, like I've been saying for years and years and decades, practice makes perfect. And it really does. Because if you're not willing to put the time in, you're not gonna come up with, you know, all this really, uh, like I said, I've been following artists for 20, 30, 40 years. You know, people like Bob Ross, Terry Redlin, uh, Thomas Kincaid, uh, Bill Alexander, or William Alexander, he goes by a couple different names, and zillions of other artists. If you wanna see some really great artwork, go to YouTube and upload paintings, watercolor artists, acrylic artists, uh, oil artists. Oh, I mean, there's so many, there's like zillions of videos out there. People, how they're showing you how they do their paintings or they're just showcasing their paintings. And eventually I'm gonna try to do a live on spot video of me actually starting like a sky and stuff like that and kind of show you how I create a sky and stuff like that and kind of work my way downward, you know, like I've, I've like explained the last two videos, you know, you basically just kind of work your way downward. God, I wish I felt a little bit better. I feel like I'm just going to sit and cough all night long. Oh, it's terrible, man. But anyway, I kind of like the way, like I said before, I keep repeating myself, but don't just pay no attention to that. I'm just babbling. Oh, I don't know why. But anyway, it, like I said, I like the way this painting turned out. I just figured the title was really appropriate for it, A Quiet Place. You know, it's kind of like you're just wandering in the in the wooded areas with your friend, backpacks and all kinds of stuff, hiking, stuff like that. You come across an area like this, you know. You know, basically you just kind of like just, just photograph stuff like that and, you know, uh, try to recall the memories when you get back to your, your uh, home and stuff like that. But I kind of like to put it on canvas, you know, something like that. Like I said, there's so many ideas that you could just use on these canvases. I mean, seriously, uh, the, the ideas are endless. It, you, you take hundreds of lifetimes to paint everything, millions of lifetimes. You could never do it in your lifetime. You only have so much time, right? That's really about the size of it. So you got to kind of get going on this when you're fairly young or even when you get a little bit older, you got to keep trying stuff, you know? It's fun to start from, you know, like I said, it's fun to start from scratch and kind of move your way downward and create something really unique. You know, original, of course it's original. This is not from any kind of photograph or anything. I just kind of just start, like I said before, I just started with a blank canvas and just kind of did the sky first and like I always do, and it's kind of slanting downward like this. You know, I just kind of move down, move down, move down, move down. You know, added more stuff over here and stuff over there. You kind of create a little world that you could actually just, you know, just kind of like jump right into yourself, you know? You know, do some hiking with your buddies and your friends, your family members, stuff like that. But like I said, I've always been really creative all my life. You know, I used to be, 
Well, a lot of people saw my bodybuilding photos when I was really seriously into bodybuilding um, early on in my uh, life, and up to about five years ago. And then, of course, I make all my other kind of goofy videos like Penny Lonely Clown and Spuddy Presents and stuff like that. And then uh, now I'm starting to show what I used to do between 2000 and 2013. Worked about 15 and a half minutes, not too bad. I think I've done a pretty good job explaining this painting. I can't really go through every little detail of the painting. You just kind of have to look at it and just kind of figure out what I did. A lot of brushes, a lot of tenacity, a lot of dedication, folks. You've got to just put your heart and soul into these paintings. I like doing that because I'm kind of like a perfectionist, so to speak. I kind of like finding a canvas and just creating something that's kind of unique and completely different from what most people are doing. You know, like I said, YouTube has a zillion videos out there with great artists all over the world. Check it out, man. Check it out. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm right here. <laughs> anyway, I think I, we're up to about 16 minutes, so I'm going to end this in about two and a half minutes. And there's really not, like I said before, I know I keep repeating myself, but there's really not too much more to explain about the painting. I think just looking at it, you should be able to figure out what it did. Like I said, I mean, experimentation, experimentation. That's really what you do when you start creating a painting, man. You just start working on an idea from the sky and work your way down, like I said before. And basically, you maybe could put a cabin in there. You can put like, uh, uh, you know, hikers or something like that, or birds or eagles flying through the landscape. There's so many goddamn ideas you can come up with. I mean, seriously, I mean, the, uh, it would take me hundreds and thousands of 10 billion lifetimes to create everything I would love to create in canvas. But unfortunately, we only have so much time in our life, right? That's, what, that's the way it is, man. So you got to make the best out of it. You know, like I said, a lot of people want to just sit on, on their couch watching uh, TV and playing video games. I'd rather make videos and go to the gym and stuff like that and paint on canvas. Try to create something. I think, I think what I'm trying to do is leave a legacy of some sort. I've, gotten, I've done a lot of stuff in my life, man. You know, it's all over social media and the internet because I wanted to kind of create like a legacy. When I'm got long gone and, you know, when I leave this world basically, people will look back at some of the stuff I did and some people will hate it, some people will love it. You know, you can't please everybody, right? And they'll go, hey, you know, he did a lot of really cool stuff, man. Bradley was kind of funny, man. He was kind of unique. You know, a lot of people think I'm a crackpot. In, in a sense, I really am. But the thing is, I am, you know, I'm a, I'm a crazy crock, crockpot. <laughs> crockpot. Did I say crockpot? Eh, we're not going to cook nothing tonight. Anyway, we're going to end this video right now. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I, you know, I, I, I think I did a pretty, pretty good job explaining this. You know, considering I um, haven't really uh, fumbled my words too much on this one. I'm not sure if this is better than the last painting I explained, uh, you know, but at least I'm trying here, and that's the main point. But anyway, we're going to be doing a rowing video right after this video is done, and we're going to do the rowing, we're going to post the rowing video first, and then we're going to follow up with the a Quiet Place painting, this video right here. So basically, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you have any comments, please put them below. Whoa, I keep tapping this. Keep putting them below. I really would love to pre I would really appreciate what you have to say about this painting and stuff like that. It really would make a, a world of difference to Bradley because basically it's not going to make me stop painting, of course. I'm just going to keep pushing on with all my videos and stuff like that anyway. But um, I'm just curious what people think about my paintings, you know, and my all my goofy other vid uh, videos like Penny and Spidey Presents and stuff like that. So we're going to get going. We're up to about 19 minutes, so i got to end this right now. So anyway, I want to thank everybody. Thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you on the next installment of Bradley Enfield Fine Art or something like that. See you later, man.